yeah, now you want to see how big of an idiot I look without the sound effects now? Not as cool without all the sound effects. This video is brought to you by Ritual Music. Today we're talking about the boring parts of B-roll, all right? This is the stuff that nobody wants to talk about, it doesn't bring in the views, but it is what separates the men from the boys. Dominic Toretto, anybody? This is Brazil. This is Brazil. You do realize that I'm talking to myself with my camera in my refrigerator right now, right? I bet. Now number one, everybody, you gotta be extra. Is that an extra enough for everybody? Almost lost my hat. Now when I say that you gotta be extra, I mean that you truly need to enhance everything that is going on when it comes to audio. It is your job to make this thing come to freaking life, dude. And it doesn't matter how cheesy it feels in person, it is your job to make it cool. Have you seen a music video without the music? I know, it feels awkward too, just in case you were wondering. Rapid fire, everybody. Look at these clips that I shot. First. I hate to bust your bubble, bro, but her shoes didn't sound like that. You hear how the audience is going crazy? Yeah, dude, they weren't screaming. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> I thought a long time about all the things I could say. You see those birds flip-flapping in the wind? Yeah, it doesn't sound like that. But this is what I mean, is that you need to enhance everything that you're doing. You don't necessarily have to make it realistic. The real sound of flapping birds sounds like this. But adding a little bit of reverb to it makes a sound like this. This is what I'm talking about. For showing up. <laughs> I thought a long time about all the things I could say and about. In this DJ shot, I added some audience ambience, a little bit of crowd shouting. Add stuff that is satisfying, like an air high five. Air high fives don't make noise, bro, but it feels good. The toasting of a glass. The sound of a dress blowing in the wind. All I'm saying is you need to bring it to life. Your video should be able to stand on its own two feet without the music. Bars! That was a lot of thuckies, bro. I'll be right back. Managing resources. That is a key to baseball. I'll be right back. Rookie of the year reference. I'm gonna go get some air. Dang, son. Casim and Chile. What the heck, man? I got a, a good spot. Back up. And numero dos, you have to use audio to focus your audience's attention. Fun fact, everybody. There is not a single fly out here right now. But because I put the sound effects so high up in the mix, you think that there truly are flies out here and I directed your attention to them. So I made you think that there are flies out here, even though there's not. But seriously, I have to say this, I have seen so many videos with this, so please take this into consideration. I've seen a lot of people put sound effects into their videos that make sense to be there, but it doesn't help with the narrative of the story. Here's what I mean by that. Watch this opening shot for a second. Now, watch it again, but watch it without the sound design that I purposefully put there. You see how there's a massive difference? It kind of seems like the other stuff shouldn't even be there. We could have added birds a chirping, the winds blowing, boats hanging out, people talking, walking by in the park. But no, we didn't do that because it didn't help the story move forward. You were so preoccupied asking if you could and didn't stop to ask yourself if you should. Woof, that's a bar, but that's not really familiar. Yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. 
Okay, I'm gonna give you a pass on not knowing that reference because that's not really a quotable line. It's more like a line that has some really deep philosophical implications with it. But anyway, let's move on. Oh, all right. Numero tres, oiga. Thank you. Rocky Creek will be here all week. We love you, Rocky Creek. We'll be here all week. So you gotta speed things up and you gotta slow things down. When you have a gig and you gotta go play somewhere, you have some stuff that is big and fast. And sometimes you have stuff that is slow and ballad-like. Your audio for your B-roll should be the same. You need to switch it up. So I like to switch up my tunes as well. All the music that you heard today was actually from Ritual Music. Music is definitely the key cherry on top to make your audio really come to life. Now, I know that you have heard about so many different royalty-free music companies, and I know that everyone is trying to get your business. But I'll tell you right now that one thing that is really cool about Ritual Music is that you do not have to purchase a separate commercial license. Some companies will actually charge you a separate fee to have a commercial license which really sucks because it literally is the same song. But anyway, regardless of your opinion on the matter, commercial licenses are things that you need. It's just the nature of the beast. You don't wanna get hit with a lawsuit just because you didn't have the rights commercially to use a song. One thing that is really cool is they have this feature called like a video sync feature, which basically you can paste any YouTube or Vimeo link inside the same ritual music browser and you can cross reference it with any kind of song that you're looking for so let's say you like a song that i use in my music and you want something similar you can actually have both of those things playing at the same time in the same browser i'm not sure if you're supposed to use it this way but i use it that way and i think it's pretty dope they have over 30,000 songs that you can pick from they're great quality everything is dope do yourself a favor go check out ritual music it is the first link in the description below you get a free trial and i get a small kickback from that and you don't even have to pay an extra dime and it's a great way to support me as a creator because everybody knows i got bills to pay so let's get back to the audio hacks so when it comes down to everything you need to slow down and speed things up right in real life no two things sound the same i can play the same chord at the same intensity right here. However, if I'm in a stadium, it sounds different. If I'm in a small room, it sounds different. If there's more furniture or carpet on the ground, it sounds different. So just remember that no two things will almost ever sound the same. Your audio is the exact same way, but more specifically, let's talk about which, which one of these sounds better to you. On Earth, and it's our happiest day on Earth. So, Misty, um, hi, I'm here. Then it's our happiest day on Earth. So, Misty, um, hi. It's the first one that sounds so much better. Try and match your audio effects to the speed of your video clip. The video speed of the transition and the audio speed of that transition need to match up. Because as you notice, stuff can sound out of place real quick. So, Misty. Now, remember, this applies to everything. Voiceover, whooshes, booms, skadooshes, wind, water. I legit ran out of things to say. That's crazy. It will take some time to get used to it. It's more of like a feel thing, but I can give you a couple of rules of thumb of when to speed up things and when to slow them down. If you need something that needs more punch, impact, and you want people to really feel it, I suggest you slow things down. All sounds are different, but I suggest don't slow anything lower than 30%. By that time, you're already starting to mess with the frequencies and then the audio starts breaking apart just like colors can start breaking apart, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you need something that is sharp, quick, somewhat dainty, I suggest speeding things up. Like I said, all sounds are different, but don't go past 500%. By that time, that's when it starts breaking apart, you start messing with the same frequencies, blah, 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 blah. Like I said, it's more of a feel thing. It is going to take some time to get used to it, but I suggest experimenting with that. That will open a whole new world for you. Trust me, my guy. Does that help? Uh, if it did, I do have like some mini courses on my website that talk about specifically this, which is sound design. If you are interested, feel free to click at my website. You can go ahead and check it all out. It's really good. 
Well, I mean, I think so, but I mean, it's stuff like this. But anyway, that link is down there alongside Ritual Music if you wanna check out the sponsor of today's video as well. Side note, I really wanted to do a breakdown of the first 40 seconds of this wedding that we've been referencing throughout this entire video. But as I started typing more and more away, I started realizing that it was getting very technical and very advanced, even in the music theory realm and in sound design. So if you wanna know the intro that I'm talking about, you can go and check out the video on my Instagram. I've already uploaded it, but if you don't want to do that because you don't think I'm worthy of a follow, which is fine. I, I ain't mad about it. But if you don't want to do that, that's cool. I completely understand. If you want to see it in all of its 4K glory, you can always just wait from a week from today when this is dropped and you will see it along with a little challenge that comes along with it. But anyway, I think that that is it. On your way out, if you can, go ahead and hit that like button for me and subscribe because that's what all the cool kids are doing. And follow me on Instagram at Keyboard King if you want to see all the behind the scenes and all of that jazz. And I will catch you on the flip side. Whew. Man, dude, did I talk a lot? Because I felt like I talked a lot. Better.